God is true of me, all the vibes. I hope you guys are enjoying the end of the summer because, child, this summer went by too damn quick. And I'm just like, oh, whatever. Because I like summer. But we're going to do my nails today. I'm going to show you how to get them to last up to two weeks, two and a half weeks long without them coming off. So really quick, I'm just going through the, some of the items that I'm using. I have a regular nail file. I have this five-in-one nail file to remove edges, smooth nail, um, file nail edge, etc. And I'm going to mainly be using the smooth nail. Next, I have this Monolons primer, and this is going to be extremely essential with getting rid of the excess oils on your nail beds. This is going to help the press on nail adhere properly and last way longer than it would without a primer. So, definitely make sure that you guys have one. I also have the top coat base coat, I got this from Amazon. This kit that you see with the cuticle pusher, cuticle clipper, little mini file brush. This all came in a nice kit on Amazon that you can get. Very, very inexpensive and had all the things that I want to need. And finally, I'm going to be using the Kiss Acrylic Natural Nails. I love the glossy finish. So I'm going to go in and just soak my hands. I kind of wanted like a little a spa experience. And so I did put some dry rose petals in some warm water. And you just see me soaking my hands, getting my nails ready for the process of doing my press on them. All right, y'all, once I'm done with my little soaky soak, I just personally went in with the brush and then did some little exfoliation. You don't have to do this step. I'm extra like that. I don't even know if you're supposed to even do this, child. Listen, anyway. I just went in and just like exfoliated, prepped my skin. Next, I'm taking the cuticle pusher. I personally am not going to cut my cuticles because I don't want to cut myself and I'm not an expert in that arena and definitely have to do some more research on that. So if you're not, you know, comfortable with cutting your cuticles, it is totally okay. Your nails are still going to look fire. Just make sure you do push those cuticles down just so that you can have a properly adhered nail. I find that when you don't push the cuticles down, you're going to get that like fake press on look where the nail kind of overlaps your nail bed and it's just not cute. And you see me here just quick filing my nails, making sure that I file them. Don't file them all the way down. You don't want to just take off too much of your nail. Just be careful and then do this and eyeball it. Next, I'm going to be smoothing out my nails with my 5-in-1 nail file situation until I have a perfectly buffed nail. Now, I'm taking my Kiss Acrylic um, Press-Ons and I like to size them first and file them down as needed. If you find that a nail is like a little bit too big, but you know that nail is going to be the closest one to fitting that particular finger, definitely do not hesitate to file it down. I always go on the sides and then go on the edges to make sure that the nail fits. And I always have a little trick. If you're able to place the nail without any glue and it fits perfectly, as you can see, boom, and it doesn't come off until you like do like a harsh motion, that's the perfect fit. Make sure that you do this process for every single finger, every single nail, so that you have all your nails set up for success. <laughs> You're going to go and roughen up the inside of each nail. Be careful when you do this because these are press-ons. Sometimes they bend. And unless you get like really good quality press-ons from like um, small businesses or like a nice professional shop, then these will definitely bend and leave cracks and creases in your nails. So just be very gentle with how you approach roughing up the inside. If you do have a nail tool that's going to do it for you automatically, that's even better. But I'm going in the old classic way with a nail file. Now I'm going to take my primer and then just prime all of my nails. Nice thin layers work the best. You don't have to overdo it. And then I'm just going to let that dry for about a minute. Now I'm going to go in with this Emily 
base coat i think i'm saying this brand right and mealy i'm not sure and i'm going to apply a light layer on each nail the base coat and i'm going to do each hand one at a time and then i'm going to cure for 30 seconds under my uvb light i do have sunscreen on my hands because i did read an article that said about you know be careful because you could get like skin cancer or etc who knows child but i put sunscreen on my hands once you're done curing the nails you're going to go in and apply the base coat to the inside of the artificial nail and then you're going to apply one more layer to your actual nail and then you're going to press and then cure that nail under the uvb light for 60 seconds and press 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 not super hard job but you know what i mean like you make sure that nail is on tight and this is going to be the perfect adhesion for your nails when applying my press-ons i like to make sure that i'm sliding the nail down into my nail bed into the cuticle not too deep to where it's hurting me or anything like that but when you do this method where you just slide that nail perfectly onto that nail bed it's going to just look more realistic it's going to give that salon look versus you know that press on look where you know you have the nail hanging off the edge and it doesn't really fit into your actual nail shape this looks more natural and it just looks like you're just salon ready and you walked out and you can't tell me you didn't get your nails done <laughs> So I'm going to keep doing this for every single nail. Baby boy, I'm going to stop you now. If you thought I was to stop before. Now I've seen some people stop here, but let me show you how to really add the game changer and make these nails look salon ready. See how they look very dull and I'm not feeling it? That's when you go in with that top coat. The top coat is gonna give you that shininess, that base, that gloss. Like just look at the difference between this hand and the hand without the top coat. You clearly see the hand with the top coat is giving gloss, it's giving that liqueur, like whatever you wanna call it. I don't even know how to. Now these are how the hands look, both done with the top coat. It's gorgeous. I applied two layers of top coat, but you can really set it off if you want to do three layers. Up to you. Lastly, I'm going to finish with the Monolone's cuticle oil. I really like the cuticle oil. It smells really nice and very light. And I'm going to apply this to my cuticles just to moisturize them and then make sure my nails look nice and healthy. And we're pretty much done with the process. Super easy, super quick. Rub that oil in. Tell me you guys love this tutorial. Tell me you hate it. Tell me whatever. I don't even care. Just leave your comment below. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, it's a pleasure to be filming videos. I really, really take what I do with much love. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Holla at me and tell me how long your nails last. If you thought I was